I don't know where to begin. I danced all around the share sheet topic for quite a while, but it just keeps staring straight back at me. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know I like to keep things just as simple as possible. And you may not know anything about the share sheet or even heard of it, but it's the one thing that supercharges the way you can use your iPad. Okay, seriously, I'm gonna do my best to keep this simple. Hi, my name is Rich and welcome to the channel. I make easy to follow videos for seniors and beginners on how to use your iPad and iPhone. And if you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing. I mean, you know, it's free, so why not? All right, today we're gonna dive into the share sheet. Well, what is the share sheet? Well, in its most basic form, it's a way to share stuff you have on your iPad. In other words, you can send things like photos or notes to a friend or family member, or really just about anyone. You can also use the share sheet to print documents and save things to notes. So the share sheet does a lot, a whole lot. But today I wanna to show you just a few easy ways to get started with the share sheet. Nothing complex, just the basics. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how to access the share sheet in an application, how to share a photo, how to create a new Apple note using the share sheet, how to share documents from files app, and how to print a document or a note using the share sheet. All right, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I wanna show you is just how to access the share sheet. So the share sheet is just really a little icon inside of each application on your iPad. Well, maybe not each application, but most of the applications. So let me show you what I'm talking about. If you go into Photos app, and okay, we'll choose that photo of Cooper, my awesome golden retriever, and you tap on it, you're gonna see a little square with an arrow coming out of it right there. That gives you access to the share sheet. If you tap on it, you can now do a bunch of different things. You can airdrop this picture or send it to a text message. You can email it or put it in a note. You can add it to reminders or a variety of different things based upon the applications you have on your iPhone. You can also copy it or you can add it to a shared photo album. You can duplicate it. You can airplay it if you use um, Apple TV. Uh, you can set it as your wallpaper. You can save it to files. You can even assign it to a contact. So if you took a picture of a family member, you could go in here and assign that picture to a contact in the contacts app. So there's a whole bunch of different things you can do from the share sheet. And it's all captured in that little square with the arrow coming out of the top. Now, if you go into other applications, you'll see it there as well. If I go into um, my browser, this is Safari, you'll see that little share sheet right there. And the share sheet is um, contextual. So when you open it up, based upon the application you're in, it'll do different things. So if I tap on the share sheet while here, I can add this website to a reading list. I can add it as a bookmark. I can add it to favorites. I can do a quick note with it. I can also airdrop it and message it and some of the other things that were on the Photos app share sheet. Then there are some specific things that apply only to the share sheet in Safari. But the main thing I want you to see is that you access the share sheet tap by tapping on the little square with the arrow coming out of it. Okay, the next thing I wanna show you is how to actually use the share sheet. So let's go back into the photos. I'll show you how to share a photo using the share sheet. So we'll take Cooper here again, and I'm gonna tap on the share sheet, and I'm gonna send this picture to my daughter via messages. So I'll just tap on messages and it automatically opens messages and I'll type in Lindsay oops and then I'll just tap the little blue circle with a white arrow in it just like you see in the messages app 
and now I've just sent her a picture of Cooper. And it was that quick and that easy. I didn't have to open the Messages app or anything. I'm just in my photos, I tap the Share Sheet, I tap the Messages app, and I send it to Lindsay, and that's it. It's really that simple. And that's how you share a photo with the Share Sheet. The next thing I want to show you is how to create an Apple Note from the Share Sheet. So, a lot of times I do research for these videos and I'm on the web and I'm trying to find out how people do things differently and learn all about the apps before I make these videos. So once again, if we go back into Safari, we'll go to my web page, Videos for Seniors here, and I'm going to tap the Share Sheet and I'm going to tap on Notes. And I'm going to make it a new note and I'll type in my website. This is what's going to actually be saved as a note in Apple Notes. And now I just click Save. And if I go back to Apple Notes, you'll see the link right there. And I typed in my website just like that. And the good thing about it is it gave a little thumbnail of my website and it's actually a hyperlink. So if I just tap on it, I get taken back to Safari where my website is. And that's a great way to keep track of stuff. If you're reading some interesting things in the Safari browser and you want to save them to a note, all you do is go to the share sheet and share it and save it to an Apple note. Now you can come back and read it at your leisure or review it whenever you need to. It's that simple. The next thing I want to show you is how to share a document from the files. So I made a video on the files app, uh, link in the description below. If you go into the files app, I'll go to on my iPad. I'm going to go to a folder I named my local folder. You may not have a folder named that. I just created that and I put some things in there. And here I got a picture from my website. So now I want to share this. So again, I just tap the little share sheet. And this time I'm going to send it via email to myself right there. And then I just hit the little send icon. and off it went. So I've now taken a, a photo that I had in the Files app and I've sent it via email. But you can do that with any file. It doesn't have to be a photo. If I go to iCloud and I go to here, I've got a scan document here. I will share that as well and I'll do the same thing. I'll email it. And there we go. And now I've emailed that file, in this case, to myself. But you see what I mean. You could email it to anyone. If I go back to my email app and I open up Spark, I see an email from me. And there's the scan document. It's in my email. And that is how you share a document from files. Pretty simple, really. All right, the last thing I want to show you, and something that may be important to you, uh, is printing a, a file. Um, you know, we live in a digital world, and most of the time you want to keep stuff on your iPad, but I don't know about you. For me, sometimes I just need something to be printed. I need it on a piece of paper. I don't want it on my iPad. I don't want it on my iPhone. I just want a piece of paper. So this is how you do that. We'll go back to the Files app, and we'll... Go to on my iPad, my local folder, and here's the tip list for today's video that I'm making now. And now I'm going to print this out to my local printer. So if I tap the share sheet icon again and I go to print, up comes my, well, it says no printer selected, so we'll choose my printer. And then I'll hit print, and now it's printed. And when I go down to my printer and pick it up, I get this printed sheet of paper. And that's handy because sometimes I still like paper and I just want it on paper. But that is how you print a file using the share sheet from the Files app.
Okay, I know that was a lot in a short time, but the share sheet is not only useful, but powerful. And I only scratched the surface. I didn't want to go into the 50 ways to maximize share sheet productivity. I'll leave that to someone else. I just wanted to give you a quick start guide of sorts that'll get you up and running without a bunch of fuss. And I surely hope this video accomplished that. Let me know how you use the share sheet in the comments below. I'd love to know. Well, that's it for today. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.